I started playing polo about three years ago in Argentina. It's in my blood. The Argentines are the best at polo. And when I had the chance, I had ridden all my life. Someone said, would you like to stick and ball? And I've never gotten off the horse since then. I'm Claudia Holdari. I'm from Argentina. And I'm a female polo player. Player number one coming in to Argentina, a nice welcome for Claudia Hodari. We are a team that want to raise awareness and donations for a cause. Women playing for women. A lot of my childhood friends, my parents' friends, all raise money for this foundation. So I chose something that I thought was going to be universally popular, understood, and respected as a charity. Nice play, number one and number three, fighting right here to keep the ball. It's the oldest sport in the world. It's 2,500 years old. Oldest ball sport, oldest team sport. And women have been playing for 2,500 years. 110 years ago, it was against the rules of, of society to play. So women would dress as men in order to get into competitions. More than half of the new players are women. Miami Beach Polo World Cup has been going on for five years with the men. Never has there been a tournament just for women. We were hoping for two to three teams, and we had eight. It was a complete success. This time, we did an auction for a villa, a seven-bedroom villa on the beach in the Galapagos Islands. 100% of the proceeds will go to Susan G. Komen. So I think over time, we'll come up with more ideas as well uh, to raise as much as we can. And awareness. It's not only the donations, but the awareness. I mean, it'll, it'll get it out to a new public, the importance of finding a cure for breast cancer. We're gonna try to get as many countries as we can to have a ping polo team, meaning they're having a tournament in Mexico City, we're gonna try to enter a ping polo team in the Hamptons, in California, in Nigeria, in Argentina. We're gonna to try to enter women's ping polo teams as often as we can and raise awareness. It, it just gives it more a, of a personality to a polo team, you know? And polo being an elitist sport, you know, people have their misconceived notions about it. I've had a lot of emails also saying, great to see polo for a good cause. So I think that this is a movement that's going to grow. You know, we just want anyone who wants to play polo with us, if they've had breast cancer, ovarian cancer, lung cancer, I mean, everybody is welcome. All the four girls that played for pink polo this year, we all felt really good about it. It makes our hearts glad to help other women. This was the first event that pink polo team is doing for the Susan G. Komen. Definitely not the last. And it won't only be breast cancer one day. Maybe we'll have other teams will be ovarian cancer or leukemia. Lots of different things. I'd love to be copied by a hundred different teams doing a hundred different charities. I mean, they can only, you know, help the world.